What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, and it's here, and we're back again with another Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash video. And today, we're going to be talking about the quick Yuta and Rika gameplay video that we literally just got today. Ignore your boy's voice. It's early in the morning. I got to get ready for work. So, this is not going to be a long video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video for real. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, please just let your boy Aaron know. Without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? So ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves some official Yuta gameplay, some more official Yuta gameplay. We basically got to see some combos and see him activating Rika and stuff like that just to see how crazy my boy goes. So first things first, we need to mention that my boy Yuta, whenever he summoned Rika at the beginning of the clip, that boy went from having two bars of curse energy to going all the way up to his max, which is eight. That's like Sukuna and Gojo numbers of curse energy, right? That is insane. And then on top of that, after he summoned Rika, you see him imbue his sword with curse energy. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but in this game, you have to do normal attacks, which do no damage for you to build your curse energy. But the fact that my boy summoned Rika and then imbued his weapon with curse energy means that whenever he does his normal attacks, he's going to go absolutely crazy. Like his default by by damage and I think that is absolutely lit and insane in the clip you see my boy Gato use a move on Yuta and it looks like Yuta blocks it and then has Rika come up on the side and sneak my boy Gato and then that's when Yuta goes in for some combos and Rika joins in that's kind of interesting because if you're telling my boy Yuta has an ability for him to basically have invincibility when it comes to some moves when he summons Rika I think that is absolutely insane and I love it a lot actually I'm not gonna hold y'all and then we get to see my boy Yuta follow up Rika with some combos and finish it off and if you look at Gato's so it looks like that jump took off roughly a third or 25% of his health which is what I be saying y'all that boy is absolutely insane when it comes to the damage for real for real in the next clip you see Gato use another ability which actually does hit Yuta but then Rika proceeds to scream and basically cover Yuta since he was in that flinched animation which then pushes Gato back which basically means that outside of doing combos, Rika looks like she could be able to protect you as well from being attacked, which I think is pretty interesting. And then you see um, will Yuta follow up on Gato and start attacking. In the next part of the clip, it looks like Yuta is using a special move, lunges in, slashes Gato, and that's when him and Rika starts putting on the combo, the wombo combo on my boy. And if you look at his health, that drunk was low key a TOD. That took off more than like, that took off roughly 75% of his health, and that is absolutely insane. So it looks like these two, whenever Rika is summoned, is going to go absolutely insane. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, Aaron, does that mean that she is going to be on the map the whole time? Does that mean Yuta is going to be a broken character, X, Y, and Z, blah, 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 blah. And to answer your question, I do think that she is going to be a crazy accessory for my boy. But at the same time, you have to see how long Rika is going to be on the map, right? So if we look at the beginning of the match, whenever Rika is summoned, you see a bar, a pink bar beside of Yuta's head. And that is how long Rika stays on the battlefield. And then by the end of all of that, you see that it is significantly dropped down. Looks like it's about to be over. Now, the sad part is that we don't know how long it actually took for her to stay it is, we don't know how long she's gonna be on the map because you know say these are just edited gameplay clips but i don't see her being on the map for too long but whenever she's out there she is going to be an absolute beast but yes ladies and gentlemen that is what we got today sorry if this is a uh, shorter than what you guys expected but i feel like we learned a lot in this video so i hope you guys enjoyed this video for real don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you guys enjoy this kind of content please just let your boy aaron know and until next time peace out